while there was no association between total dairy products and incidence of diabetes, low-fat fermented dairy products uh, were inversely associated with a 24% reduced risk of diabetes. And specifically, yogurt made up somewhere around 87% of the low-fat fermented dairy products, and that was associated with a 28% reduced risk of diabetes. This was the conclusion of the EPIC Norfolk 2 study presented at the second World Yogurt Summit, which took place during the 2014 Experimental Biology Meeting. This 11-year prospective study followed healthy people to see who developed diabetes according to their diet. A unique feature of this study is that dietary details were available on 4,000 individuals who had filled out seven-day food diaries. The fact that uh, fermented dairy products in particular were associated with a reduced risk probably points to additional things that happen to dairy during the fermentation process. So dairy has a huge amount of nutrient density. It's, it's a good type of food, uh, dairy as a whole, uh, with vitamins, minerals, uh, possibly the good type of saturated fatty acids in terms of uh, 15 and 17 uh, carbon chain length fatty acids. Uh, but additionally, fermentation probably is giving us the advantage of uh, probiotic effects. Uh, that's likely to pay a, play a part. The beneficial effect of yogurt on cardiovascular risk factors was also highlighted in the Helena study, which evaluated the nutritional and behavioral patterns of 3,000 European adolescents. In the adolescent population, we did a study that is called the ELENA study, Healthy Lifestyle in Europe by Nutrition in Adolescents, in which we identify an association between the consumption of yogurt and yogurt-based drinks, and also additional, additionally uh, milk products with cardiovascular diseases risk factors, and dairy products would have a protective effect. Yogurt consumption was associated with a reduction in BMI and waist circumference. In fact, uh, we had four uh, groups uh, within the dairy category and we detected associations only with the first two ones. That means milk, buttermilk and yogurt, yogurt-based drinks and white cheese. At the 11-year follow-up evaluation of the Framingham heart study offspring cohort, dairy consumption appeared associated with a favorable effect on another cardiovascular risk factor, blood pressure. The main finding was that um, dairy, particularly uh, low fat and fat free dairy, um, uh, higher intakes resulted in a slower increase in blood pressure and systolic blood pressure with time. With the systolic blood pressure we saw that those with the lowest intakes of less than one serving per week of, of uh, low-fat or fat-free dairy increase their blood pressure about 1.1 millimeters of mercury per year, whereas the participants who had higher intakes of dairy, more than uh, uh, three servings per week, increased their blood pressure annually at a rate of only about 0.75 millimeters of mercury per year. So that difference may seem small, but that's a 30% difference in the rate of increase in blood pressure over time.